damn, now this is crazy. It's like bad publicity in a way, but then it's not. You see the numbers right there. This nigga album was the most illegally downloaded project out of everything else. You just seen it. To me, that's crazy. You know, it says one or two things. To me, it says people really are cheap as fuck and don't want to pay for a Drake album. And two, they really want to hear the product. It's like them saying, yeah, we know he's dope as fuck. Like, I like him. He's an ill artist, but I don't think I want to pay for it. You see what I mean? But then again, you could argue, who really pays for music these days anyway? I mean, it came out of nowhere. You just woke up one day and you went to your phone and Drake got a new project out. And we know now that it was mainly a project full of some throwaway records recorded in between albums. I say at least nothing was the same. And that's that. But a couple of the tracks were new. You know, and it's the whole controversy around the project, the whole ghost writing shit and um, Quinn Miller. When people still was on that, and it's like, do you niggas even remember his first album? 5 a.m. in Toronto, 9 a.m. in Dallas, 6 p.m. in New York. Like, there's so many other songs that we know for a fact, personally, nobody else can write like that. Songs about his life, his mom, family issues, the industry. It's just crazy, but it's just like, wow, just the whole illegally downloading. I mean, I think everybody gets, you know, the album, it leaks. But this just proves when people do that whole, why is he number one? I don't understand. There you go. I mean, that's a lot of fucking illegally downloads. Like, you got to look at that. You know what I mean? That many people really wanted to hear that project. They want it in their phones. They want it on their laptops, you know, their tablets, whatever the case may be, because they like Drake's music, you know? And if only people can put that effort to pit $10 a it's just an album at the end of the day. It's not really anything wrong with, you know, paying for something that you admire. Now, streaming it and listening to it, that's different. That's cool. But if you admire it and you enjoy it, why not pay for it? That's the reason why I still to this day don't listen to or download. I'll listen to a stream or a leak, but I'll still buy the product. You know, if I know I'm not going to end up buying it, I'm not going to listen to it. But now there's so many apps that they have. I mean, once site gets shut down, they got another one. I mean, Apple Music is dope because if you got a subscription to it, every album that comes out on that Friday, you can hear it. And it's like basically buying the album, but it's not in your personal collection. So at the same time, if you really like it after you heard it for free, basically, you can go purchase it. I mean, that's what I do sometimes. I won't listen to the league. I won't listen to the streams. I'll wait till the day the album comes out, listen to it on Apple Music. I like it. I'll buy it. Sometimes even I'll buy the fucking physical before I actually heard the product. That's giving it a chance. Now, to some of y'all, y'all like, that sounds crazy. Why would you buy something you ain't heard it yet? Because I'm quite sure that I'm going to enjoy this shit, especially if it's an artist that I'm well known with. But when this came out, it was automatic that I was listening to it. You know, I was going to purchase it no matter what. And the way it came out, it kind of did hit uh, mixtape sites first. That was the weird part. You know, it hit a lot of mixtape sites, and then it went on to iTunes. And once it was on iTunes, I initially bought it, and then they had it to where it came out in stores. I went and copped it, two copies, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's about artists that you like. But for a project to break records, to be downloaded that many times, that's insane, Every genre, though, like it broke records in every other genre. Nobody album or product was more downloaded than Drake. So when people ask that number one question, who's number one, really, blah, 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 there you go. It's not me or anybody else that's a fan of him. You can't argue. Jay-Z said it. Women lie, men lie. Numbers don't. Obviously, he got the numbers on the board. No push of T. You dig? So what y'all think about this? I think this is a kind of incredible story. You know what I mean? The most illegally downloaded rap album is If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. Wow. What am I willing to give her to get what I want tonight? Ain't no telling. Please do not speak to me like I'm that Drake from four years ago. I'm at a higher place.